Hi everyone, my name is Carol Yazika. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about my journey with breastfeeding. My little one, I've been breastfeeding for about nine months now. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've used that have helped me during this journey and the things that I find useful. So the first thing that I wanted to go through was just the history of, you know, breastfeeding and how it was from the beginning and up until now. I had a C-section. So as soon as they handed me the baby when I was in theater, they tried to have her latch onto my boob to breastfeed. This was a bit difficult. It's not as easy as people think. And I think the understanding that I had prior to having a baby was that, you know, it's normal, you know, you decide to breastfeed or not, I didn't realize that breastfeeding was actually not as normal as we are led to believe and as, you know, as it's depicted on TV and so forth. I genuinely thought that everyone and anyone could breastfeed, but it's not the case. So prior to giving birth, I was going through different resources to just kind of equip me to know what to expect. As you guys know, I like to give you facts and I like to give you information. So I will put the links down below of the websites that I'm going to mention in this video, as well as all the other information that I may have read that I think that you guys will find very useful in your journey. So I had a C-section and they gave me my baby and tried to help me um, have her latch onto my boob so that took a while before she latched on and we had to keep switching the breast to see which size she would latch onto so luckily she did latch on and um, I breastfed her from the theater all the way up until they settled me down in into my room so that was that process so the beginning of breastfeeding you actually don't have milk coming out it's called colostrum and it's just the stuff that comes out to feed the baby before your milk supply comes in so that's what she was feeding on it's more like the fat that the baby needs at this time so while you're in the hospital you have a nurse that actually helps with the breastfeeding if that is what you choose to do so they help you with different positions of how to hold the baby because it was a time when she was only preferring one side so we had to figure out a position to put her in so that she also fed from the other side and for her to have more milk available to her whenever she needed it so in the hospital they actually have a dedicated staff that goes to every woman to make sure that your baby is latching on properly or if you have questions while you're still in hospital they are able to support you and assist you with that process before you go home About two days or three days after giving birth that's when my milk just was filling up it was filling up a lot guys I felt like my boobs were going to explode because that's how much milk was flowing and I just didn't even know what was going on. I called one of my friends and I was like, look, I don't know what's going on. My boobs are so, so painful and heavy. What am I supposed to do? You know, and then she was just like, you know, just express the milk. If Gianna's not drinking milk, just express it to, to relieve your boobs so that it's not too heavy. So I tried to express, didn't even understand what the heck I was doing because it was painful. Guys, it's not as simple as people like to make it seem, okay? So I'm just hoping that one of you guys learns from this experience so that you guys are equipped for when you have a baby. I use an express pump and I'll leave the link down in the description box. When you then go home, the the midwife comes again to visit you to just make sure that everything is okay. They also check where the baby is sleeping and if you have any questions or if you had any troubles and all of that. So obviously they would have weighed the baby in the hospital and then they give you a little book where they have all this information in it. The midwife comes and then they go through your charts again and then they weigh the baby and to make sure that the baby is drinking enough milk and all of that when you leave the hospital they expect the baby to lose 10 percent of its body weight and then um, after a week or so the body weight is supposed to go back to the weight it was when it was born so they check that so they make sure that if your baby is not feeding okay you have to go back into hospital or they monitor that consistently until the weight is picked up or they give you solutions of what you're supposed to do if your baby is not feeding enough or if it's not gaining enough weight so luckily for me um jenna was she, she i think she lost about five percent of her body weight and then um after a week she was back to her normal um birth weight and then she was gradually increasing as the weeks went by i 
actually started expressing milk because I had too much milk and it was really hurting. And I just wanted Gianna to have enough milk for her at any given time. So I was freezing my milk at that time. And I shared this on my Instagram. So I was breastfeeding as well as pumping and then um, storing that milk. At around two months, I tried to give her the bottle and she just refused completely. She did not want to drink from the bottle i tried so many bottles guys i had so so many bottles but she just wasn't having it so i had all of this milk and i was like what am i gonna do with this milk so what i ended up doing was that i started bathing her in the milk i'm not sure if you guys are aware but breast milk helps with any skin conditions that a baby may have so i whenever she would get like a rash or whatever i would just bath her in the milk or you know just wipe her bum with with the breast milk so i used that frozen milk in her bath up until it finished pretty much <laughs> so that's what i did with that milk because i just thought she didn't want to feed from the bottle and i didn't want to waste that milk so i just used it on her skin instead and till this day she doesn't have eczema she doesn't get rashes she's never had diaper uh, diaper rash or anything and i think it's because the breast milk kind of helped strengthen her skin barrier because of all the nutrients and all of that that's in the breast milk so i genuinely think that is what has contributed to her skin being normal because there was a time when it wasn't actually <laughs> when we just had you know so many problems when we had a problem with the skin and then the doctor was like use hydrocortisone and i didn't want to i got it but i didn't really use it as much so that's been the journey and then fast forward to six months when i started giving her solids i just randomly gave her the bottle and she drank it and now she's like a pro she drinks from the bottle all the time now and she also drinks from my breast and she has one particular bottle that she likes to feed from she uses the komotomo bottle and she absolutely loves it because it's so squishy and it kind of mimics your breast tissues because it's soft so she when she's drinking she's like squeezing it um and then when she's drinking from me she's also like squeezing my, my breast so that is what i have been using with gianna because she's feeding from the bottle i've had times when my milk supply has actually reduced. There are two things that have contributed to this. One is that I wasn't feeding her as consistently as I was prior to her using the bottle. And the second thing was that I wasn't drinking enough water. So I increased my water intake from about two and a half liters to three and a half liters. I use an app that you guys can use. So you can just put in all your information in terms of your weight and your height and all of that and whether or not you're breastfeeding. And then it calculates how much water you need to be drinking. So for me, it's three and a half liters of, of water is what I need to drink to have enough hydration as well as be able to breastfeed. And the second thing was that I needed to consistently start pumping. So with Gia, I still breastfeed her, but when she's with her dad because her dad will have her in the morning so her dad has her from um, when she wakes up all the way until one o'clock and then i take over or she'll have or my mom will take her from one o'clock up until bedtime and because you guys know from the sleep uh, training video she actually doesn't feed up until 5 30 in the morning or sometimes at six o'clock in the morning or sometimes not at all until she's fully awake at six at seven so i you know you just have to make sure that your milk supply is consistently being filled up by taking it out and what i mean is that you have to i ended up having to pump a lot more so um on the app that i mentioned huckleberry app you're able to put reminders to remind you to pump so every two to three hours i've had to pump to make sure that my, my body knows that i still need the milk if she's bottle feeding your body regulates itself to say that okay you don't need this much milk so we're not going to produce this amount of milk so like what i was saying when you're literally just breastfeeding and she wasn't taking the bottle my body was like oh she needs milk more often because she needs this for survival so it was producing a lot more milk but when i started introducing the bottle and i wasn't feeding her as often it regulated and pulled that milk supply down so um it got to a point where i wasn't i wasn't pumping enough milk to sustain her during the time when i didn't have her so my milk supply drastically dropped from you know being able to pump at least 200 mils of milk at a time it was going down to like 70 mils a time um at a time so that's obviously not enough for gianna because she has her solids as well as the milk so those are the two main things that i tried that have tremendously helped 
increase my milk supply whenever it dips and i also wanted you guys to have more information with regards to um what you need to do while um you are breastfeeding so the resources that i used was kelly mom this is this will tell you all the information you need on breastfeeding and how to troubleshoot that as well as breastfeeding support group for black mothers you can find this on facebook so that's about it about the milk supply do let me know what you use to help with your milk supply i know some people use supplements some people eat or drink certain things you know so just tell me what you guys have been taught or the things that you've been using that are helping with your milk supply or to keep your milk supply up are you breastfeeding or are you formula feeding how long did you breastfeed for um yeah so i'm planning on breastfeeding for about a year but right now i'm trying to as much as i can to keep breastfeeding my little one again statistically <laughs> it shows that the longer you breastfeed your baby the better so i'm just trying to aim for at least a year to 18 months most likely we'll stop at one year so that is it for this video guys i hope that is informative do make sure that you like and you comment and also share this video with your family and friends if you haven't already please do subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye